All righty, it's another day. We got boys loaded up in the Samurai. We're gonna head over to start working on the old dump trucks. If we can get it running and get it ready for the car show in Duchesne, for the Duchesne County Fair. So that's the plan. That's where we're gonna be this weekend. So if you guys are gonna be around there, stop in and say hello. Without further ado, I guess uh, Cubba's missing because she's at her birthday lunch with Grandma and Grandpa. So they'll drop her off to us later. But uh, right now, us boys are going to head over and get to work on the um, dump truck. So here we go. here let's go see what damages grandpa's done Let's see how long it takes for Grandpa to come out here. Okay, so he's been out here tinkering because I know I came and talked to him the other day. But he pulled out the spark plugs, checked them. They all seem like they're good and ready to go. Put a little bit of lube down in the cylinders. So that's good. It's, it turns over. You can use the crank. The hand crank to turn it over um, we need to look into maybe replacing this little petcock drain because we can't get the, the lever on it to turn and I think we need to in order to fill it back up with some water so that we can run it so that's probably going to be a main thing that we need to do today is get that swapped out we got to figure out this is a vacuum canister so when the the engine sees vacuum it has a float in there i think he's got an old one over here on the bench we can look at no nope, he put it away nope. the guinea hen hollis is chasing the guinea hens don't chase the guinea hens let's let's bring it back over here Hey, don't walk over to it. Come around. Yep, let it go back over with its friends. Don't go in the shop, guinea hen. Don't go in the shop, guinea hen. Oh, no. Okay, stay right here so it doesn't come out. Go back to the fence. Where'd you go, bird? Okay, circle around it. Circle around it. Chasing dinosaurs today. All right, he's back over there with his friends now. Let's resume this. Anyways. Oh, we didn't bring the battery with us, Rooks. Oh, shoot. That's another thing we're going to have to get from the store, too. Looks like we're going to Harbor Freight. 
Maybe. Anyways, this is another vacuum canister he's got, but he screwed it all back down, so I can't show you how it works. But basically, there's a vacuum plunger in there that it draws, the vacuum draws the fuel from the tank into this canister, and then it has a float in there, and it, that's what turns the, the, the gas fuel, the gas flow on and off. And then it fills up this canister with fuel, and then it just gravity uh, bleeds down into the carburetor. So it just runs a vacuum fuel pump on it. But we've never, we've never put fuel in the tank. The tank is under the seat in here. So you have to take the tank out to put the gap, the fuel in it, and we never had that hooked up we just always manually filled up this little canister and that's how we've we've ran this thing that that tells you how much we've actually ran this thing when you can operate off of a pint of gas so anyways we got to decide if we're just going to continue to do that um kind of what the plan is for this truck how much we're going to get it out and use it and do with it. So that'll determine what we do with the fuel system. This is the tire that blew up when we were getting it out. So we need to take it off the back of the truck. And then we actually found, we have another spare tire back here um, that we're gonna swap out spots with on the back of the cab, just so that it's there and ready to go. And uh, we don't have all this extra stuff in the back, in the, in the bed. So, and then, it's like, I don't remember, when he got the truck, it didn't have a tailgate, a dump gate. And I don't remember if he made that, or if somebody else made it for him. But we've never installed it. So, we'll probably, once we get it running where we can pull it forward, we'll probably think about putting that that end gate on um this does the the hydraulic on the bed does work there's a little drive shaft down here that runs off the transmission that goes back to the hydraulic pump and i think the pump needs some work i don't think that it the seals in it are very good or something like that i can't remember like i said it's been 20 years and I was just a lad 12 years old at that time so you were just anyways a lad as well. just a lad Rook says <laughs> <laughs> so anyways I figured grandpa would snoopervise would be snoopervised and come out and see what was going on so we got to we got to get a battery to put in here 12 volt positive ground and then figure out the water and the fuel and I think we might be ready to fire this thing up but yep this is the project that got me working on old stuff um, like I grandpa had the 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 uh, Buick and he has another car that that we would always ride around in on parades and stuff um but it was a little bit later in my childhood when he when he did this one so um i got to come over and help him before and after school and on the weekends and all the time so anyways we're gonna see about getting this old girl purring again like i said we need some new front tires if anybody knows or has a lead on some decent used ones i don't Buying buying new tires like a thousand dollars a piece, twelve hundred bucks a piece, and for as much as we're gonna use this thing, I don't really want to spend that much on them. If I have to, I will. But if I could come across a couple decent used ones, I'd really appreciate that. So, if you, if anybody has maybe some ideas or whatever where we might be able to find something, let me know. I can't find anything on the internet, so it's a 36 by 6 on this side 
is what we put on and I think that this one is oh, oh yeah this one's also a 36 by 6 I think the one we pulled off was a different size or something but anyways we'll go bug grandpa see if he's out of bed yet he ought to be it's lunch time so maybe they're in there eating lunch but we'll go we'll go bug them and then see uh see what we can do about working on this all right that, that turned yeah it's coming out of there easy it is just make sure you're looking where the camera's pointing Coming out. There's the Awuga horn. There's the Awuga horn. All right. Now we know what we need to get. Yeah, it's stuck wide open, so that wouldn't have worked. Oh, it was wide open. It wasn't even closed. It wasn't even closed. You see that? Wide open. Okay. All right. Let's go to Ace. We're gonna, go to, we're gonna go to the store and. Get one of these and get a battery. Dad, I found more guinea hens. You found more guinea hens? Yeah. Coming? Sorry. Going into Ace. It's a quarter inch drain cock here. So now we just need a bushing because obviously the thread sizes are different. So once we get a bushing found, we'll be set. They're right here. Let's see, how much was this one? I need to remember. 339. 339? That's a ton of money. Okay, now. Bushings, bushings, bushings. Now we need a bushing, brass bushings. All right, so we got our drain. We found a uh, adapter that will get us to thread into that, and then that'll thread into the truck. So we got the two pieces that we need. Make sure to like and subscribe. Okay, we got our two pieces. We're gonna put some. Ooh, you got tight fingers. How'd you get that so tight? Brooks tightened that together with his fingers and got it nice and tight. We're gonna put some thread tape on this, screw it in, and then get it ready to put it in the truck. Wow, what is that? Did you find some popcorn up there to the store? We had a free bag, huh? Yep. Alright, Rooks wanted to be the one to pour the water in it, so we're gonna have to facilitate that. So here we go. gas you want to turn it over first you can yeah. put the battery in Not yet. I didn't hook it up. Brooks you want to hold this camera and make sure you're recording what we need to record positive ground positive ground he says are you positive 
or your ground beef. That's hooked up. What do we got to have to put it, probably clamp it on there, won't you? You gonna read, show the people what we're doing? We got a key for the battery, I think. There we go. Yeah, battery, power, ignited. Is it out of gear? Yeah. Take it out of gear. Move that down there. It's out of gear. This guy here. That's one right there. Wow. <laughs> It what are you recording? The floor of the life. truck or grandpa or me or what are you doing? Okay, let's, let's put some gas in it. It cranks right over. After 20 years. That's set for 20 years. And it turned stinking over. Set for 20 years. Still functioning. Take that little cork out. So we gotta take out this little quarter inch plug. We'll put a funnel in and fill this up. Got a funnel, Dad. Passing it for you. Baby. All right. Where'd you say the gas was? Just right here. Yep. Right there. And there's a little can. Gonna record that. Make sure you're watching what we're doing. Taking the cap off, pouring in the gas. You have to tell the camera that it's a vacuum and fuel. Yep, we told them. Did you? Yep. I was going to show them how it worked, but you put the other one away. Oh, yeah, I finally got it to center and it would close up, you know, it wouldn't, that little pin wouldn't go down that hole. If you want to hook up that vacuum tank, then the, the, hook the other line on. It comes off of your intake, screws right on that. Screws on to here. Right there, yeah. It's got a plug in it right now. Well, that held more than I thought it would, you know. I didn't think it would hold that much. When we took it to the creek and back, I wonder if this whole, the whole body doesn't fill up with fuel. Well, yeah. Now, the way we're doing oh. it, oh, there it is. There's your top, That's full. top, top. Let her out. It's all right. It's all right. Holy smoke, what's going in? It's running out the... Oh, it's running out the... It's... The tank's got a... Is the tank open? It must be. <laughs> There's not even a, the line's not even hooked up. There is no tank. Gotta be, it's under the seat. No. Unless it's up inside that box. Grandpa, you, try to get you wanna know something that's exciting? Yesterday, I got an email saying that YouTube is gonna start paying me. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty exciting, isn't it? That is exciting. You know what else? You know what else is exciting? We got our website up and running, and we now have stickers and shirts for sale. Oh my gosh! Right? I have to buy one quick. Look at this yeah, one. we'll have to buy one quick before they sell out, because I couldn't that. afford to make too many. <laughs> but we've got we've got a good selection on the website right now, so. If you head on over to builders-garage.com, that's where you can go and you can buy a shirt or a sticker. And we got a couple sticker designs. Um, kind of did a little bit of a 
teaser on the thumbnail for the Buick video of what the new sticker is. I don't know if anybody noticed it. Nobody commented on it, but we've got a new sticker and shirts. So if you head on over there, get yours ordered and we'll get it shipped to you as soon as possible. So once again, builders-garage.com. Thanks for watching, guys. No, 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 no. It's Listen, dirty. No, I didn't get any in it from, oh, okay. from that line. Well, the carburetor's not flooding over or running out, so it must be all right. Okay, so next, your next one is... Looks like... You can get in there and put your... Reach down and crank her up. Let's try to start it. Think? Are you nervous? Yeah, but it's gonna be good. I try. remember the first time we started this, Grandpa. You had smoke. <laughs> we had put smoke in the cylinder or oil in the cylinder. So Make sure they was, had lubrication and fired that thing up. Filled this garage full of smoke you couldn't see. Couldn't see. We got it running. We were happy that it was running. And Grandpa looked at the oil pressure gauge and what did you say? Can't remember that. There ain't no oil pressure. And then we tried to shut it off and it wouldn't shut off. And we was worried we was going to toast it. But then the gauge started working. Hadn't been hadn't, run for hadn't been years. run for so long that we were watching the gauge and it wasn't coming up and wasn't coming up and now finally got nervous and let's take the funnel out and put the plug in. I had to grind the funnel down to get it in. Where's the little the little? I set it down right here. Finger tight. It doesn't feel like it's going in straight, but it is. Let's try All to crank right. start it now. You think? Yeah. I don't think I'm man enough to turn the crank over. We'll let that starter do it. We'll try it with the starter first. Okay. Ready? Yep. Did you choke it? It wanted to start. It wanted to. Choke, isn't it? I don't know. Can't remember. I'll try. Is that? You gotta do that. Turn it on. Something. <laughs> Horn works. <laughs> All right. I forgot something. <laughs> you might have to look at the fuel situation in the carburetor. What do you think? Hmm. Something. Let's, let's crack that line and see if it's got fuel. How do you crack a line? That's all they had back then was an old worn out one from the factory and no gas, no fuel. Ain't got no gas in it. There's probably because that pet cop's closed right there. <laughs> I know what's wrong with it. Ain't got no gas in it. Gotta open that pet cock. So we gotta tighten this fuel line down because it was drained. Well, leave, it, leave it loose till you get gas down there. And then there's a drain in the carburetor down here it's snug Pick up. is this one going to be seized up like the other one i'll go get the spray thing that grandpa used to open the other one. 
Here. Yes. Right on there you go. Alright. Need a little more oil? No, I just gotta... Can't really get in there on it. There we go. She turned. Still ain't got no gas in it. Let's see here. Got no gas in it. All right, so we're not getting fuel out of the bottom of this canister and we've got it full of gas and we've got the hose off and still nothing coming out of there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this one apart so we can figure out exactly how it's supposed to work, where we can see it and get to it. So here we go. You got a float bowl, a needle, and a vacuum switch here that controls the fuel flow into this canister. Okay, so that does come out. Oh, there's a flopper on that. There's a that down. flopper there that's. Well, we got we put air up through there. How come well, we got to put air. Blow it out. Open. Yep. So once this, that yeah, that flapper's so got to be, be stuck. I wonder how much stuff's in the bottom of that. Shouldn't be any. You run think it you out drained of gas. it all out? We run it out of gas. Okay, so we've got to figure out a way to put a little bit of air through that little hole down in there. No, or up through the bottom. No, up through the no, bottom. No, that pool, won't that won't work. Shed. That's why we're getting air coming out of these screw yeah. holes. Okay. All right. Now. What have we got to catch all that gas with? Cleaner than clean. Is it clean? Yeah. Cleaner it... than the beans that come out of it? Yeah. Is that what it is, a bean can? Rinse it out and throw it out on the driveway. Throw it out on a weed. Yeah, that is kind of a pain getting that float bowl back in there. Yeah, I, I sit here and punch and punch and punch and punch and finally it went in. There it went. There you go. You just have to... You just have to cuss it under your breath just a little bit. Like there's all the screws. Okay, we'll get this put back together and then pick you up on the other side. All right, so we pulled that sleeve out of there. This flap was stuck. So we got that pulled out and unstuck and everything. So basically what happens is the float bowl fills this up and then when it senses vacuum and it needs to pump, it, it turns the vacuum on in this and the vacuum from the engine closes this flap which in turn lets the engine run off of the fuel that is still contained in this canister while the engine vacuum fills this up. When the float comes up, it cuts the vacuum, dumps the fuel into the canister, and repeats the process. So, pretty crazy how it works. The old gas just had this varnished closed just ever so slightly. 
and there was still a little bit of residue down in the bottom. So I'm gonna have to clean that out because that varnish down in there is gonna translate to issues for us down the road if we just don't do it now. So that's the plan. We're gonna clean up this surface. Uh -oh. We're gonna get a new, yeah, thing. new gasket for it. And uh, get it put back together so i'm gonna see if i can find another tripod in the meantime because i'm kind of bummed out that i'm missing out on filming some of this but rooks isn't holding the camera and grandpa's not gonna do it either so all right we got the tank cleaned out there was some varnished gas in the bottom of it so we cleaned that out now we've got to i guess we got to kind of clean up the bottom of this lip here at least pull all your old silicone off of there got some more i just bought a new tube yeah grandpa's been rebuilding his shoes with silicone <laughs> You got run over a few years ago. They were uptown riding bikes and a lady didn't see him in the crosswalk and ran him over and broke his hip off his leg. So now he's got one leg that's a little shorter than the other. So he's making his own insole wedges so that it doesn't, he can walk better. How long ago was that? Oh gosh, 20 years ago. 20 years ago? Yep. Shortly after we did did this truck, so. It's been a while, but. Remember a few episodes ago, I was telling you about home making gaskets, and this is one that my grandpa and I made a long time ago that was with that other canister, and we're gonna use it again today. We actually put it into into service this time, so it's a, a hand cut out gasket. Daddy, I got the silicone. You know, you know, you silicone. Well, it's open and ready. We're not gonna use it. Okay, my dad says he's not gonna use it. Where's that silicone? Yeah, okay, gaskets in. Now we gotta drop this little canister in just like that how do you get that to line up no oh, it has that thing no that's the one i'm thinking about this is the one you're thinking of we need to, I guess we could. I'm gonna get. Let's put this fuel line back on and we'll dump gas into it before we check it out. Put the top on. Alright. Now is it gonna start? Don't forget about the cone. That should just pour in through the flap. Does it? Down into the carburetor. So, do we want to put more in it while we got the top off or call that good? That's good. Now, you gonna start it? How do you start it? I guess it? we could start it without putting the top on, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay, I guess we're gonna try to start it. Could you crank start it, Dad? No, I'm not gonna try to start it first time with the crank starter. Sure. Crazy <laughs> kid.
working. That's the that's the air fuel, isn't it? Is it? Okay. And then you adjust the idle with the lever on the steering on the wheel. Steering wheel. Well, you want me to try right. to now? Can I crank start it? Can I try to crank start it? No, you can't try to crank start it. If you get your hand caught in there, it'll rip it off. <laughs> hand caught in what? In that crank. Will the crank spin around? Yeah, the crank will spin around, but. I don't want to get my hand between that tow bar and that crank lever if we got an electric starter. Did you turn the key off? Yeah. Yeah. Well. Is it warm? Yeah. yeah. Really? We ran it that long that it warmed up the radiator. <whistles> yeah. Why is it all melted? Well, because it had some leaks, so we brazed it. Soldered them shut. No, I'll be done. Clunk, 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 clunk. Boy, it's got a lot of knocks in it. <laughs> That's a hot cat. It's too hot. It'll turn it off. Well, we got we still got to put the thing on that. Yep, we'll put the the float back on top of the vacuum canister. There's no so it's there. so it's put together. Maybe that's why it turned off. Maybe we ran it out of gas. Think? Mm, who knows? 
Bones. I don't see any gas down in there, so Bones maybe we just run it out of gas. That's why it decided it was done. That's why it's Okay, well, we'll put this top back on. And I guess we're ready to go other than getting it loaded up here in a couple days, so. Right? Yeah. I don't think we need to do much else to it. So, thanks for watching, guys. That was exciting, and stay tuned and hang out with us when we go to the car show. And if you're in the area this coming Saturday, Duchesne County Custom Car Show. It'd be the way, be the place to be. Come and say hi. Thanks, and we'll see you later.